Okay, we're going to start with math. Oh, there you go. Okay, we're going to talk about fractions. F-R-A-C-T-I-O-N-S, fractions, okay? So, I have a circle here. A fraction is part of a whole. P-A-R-T of a W-H-O-L-E. So, if I go like this, I'm going to shade and help me shade it. Watch. Go like this. Let me shade in half. That's, look, one part over two parts. It's one half, right? Now, if we take it and we go like this, we make it four parts. So the underneath part is four. So now we have, let's shade in one more part. We have three parts. This fraction, you know that, okay? But we're going to talk about different kinds of fractions. There's three kinds, okay? The first kind is a proper fraction, P-R-O-P-E-R. -E proper fraction is when the top number is smaller than the bottom, S-M-A-L-L-E-R. Like, I'm going to have you, I'm going to have you tell one, ready? Like 2 over 3, like 6 out of 8, like... That's four out of seven. So I want you to tell me one. When the top number is smaller, what would it be? Huh? One over yeah. eight. Excellent. One eighth is a proper fraction. See? You know. Okay. Yeah. Number two. So there's proper fractions. There's other fractions called improper. I-M-P-R-O-P-E-R. -E that means something's wrong. It doesn't look right. Improper. Mm -mm. That's when the top number is bigger or larger than the bottom number. So it's kind of backwards, right? So we have 9 over 2, we have 7 over 3, we have 5 over 1. Isn't that right, right? You tell me one. An improper fraction when the top number is bigger. Ready? 8 over 1. Yep. The top number is bigger. All right, so that's the improper. Then the third kind of fraction, and then we're going to do an exercise so you can help me convert some of these, okay? The third kind is called a mixed, M-I-X-E-D, mixed fraction. A mixed fraction is when there's a whole number, W-H-O-L-E, whole number, like 2. And then we have a fraction next to it. Fraction next to it. So we have 2 and 1 half, that's a mixed fraction. We have 3 and 1 quarter, we have 5 and 5 eighths. That is called a mixed fracture because there's a whole number and there's a fraction next to it. So you tell me a mixed fraction. Ready? What are you going to do? Here, focus, 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 focus. Five. And? Is that working? Maybe go ask. We need a new cord. Uh-huh. I thought it was the other part. Yeah. Let me figure it out. Something. Just get the cord from Geeta. It charged all night. It was in 100%. Five and one over six. Yes, five and one six is a mixed fraction. See? So now we're going to do something. We're going to take a sit. Mom's coming back. Sit. Mom's coming back. Sit. Okay. You're good. Yeah. No. Uh, 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 uh. Sit. Come on. Down. Come on. Put your foot down. Let's go. Here. Mom is coming back. You went out of the room and you went on the chair. Come on, let's go. Sit. There you go. Okay. It's okay. It's okay. Ready? Yay! Here we go. So we have. It's okay. There are hardly any people there. That's why over I don't five. There are hardly any people. I'm going to show you. We're going to change eight over five and we're going to fix it. Okay? So we have to find out how many times does five go into eight? How many times can five go into eight? Let's go. One. We'll do math for a little while. Mom wanted to see math. And then we'll do something else. So, how many are left over after you put five into eight once? Five, or one, and three over. Excellent. Three over five. You got it. Okay, let's do one more, and then you can do it by yourself. Okay? Let's do 12 over. Oh, how about 12 over five? Okay, five goes into twelve. How many times? Come on, do it. You can do it. Two. Two. So, 
Duh. Five times two is what? I think in your head. What's left over? Duh. Two over Duh. five. Good. Okay. So now let's do another one. And then you're going to do this one. Then we'll do something else. Okay? You can tell something if you want. I have a feeling you have something to say. Okay. So let's do, um, how about nine over four? Duh. What would the answer be? See if you can do it. Four has to go into nine, so the answer is what? Two and one over four. Two and one four. You can pick that up really quickly. We're on to something else. Okay. So, do you have something to tell? Yes, I do or no, I don't.